In order to verify the accuracy of their financial accounts, companies use auditors on a regular basis to verify accounting entries. The company's employees make erroneous entries 5% of the time. Suppose that an editor randomly checks three entries. Find the probability distribution for Y, the number of errors detected by the auditor. Three entries. So, entry 1 and entry 2, entry 3. Right. Then, how? what are the possibilities? So, first, let me use E for an error on a single entry and I use N for no error. Now think about all possibilities. There are three entries. So they check these three entries, right? So then maybe first one they uh, get the error entry and second one also error entry and third one also error entry. So we can say error, error, error. All three errors. Oh, there is another possibility E, error and again second one also error and third one no error. Similarly, error, no error, 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 no error, no error. Then, no, error, error, no, no, error, no, error, no. Then no error, no error, no error. Now, think about why the number of errors detected by the auditors. First, we need to understand the value of y. So, if y the number of errors, so check this one. How many errors? We have three errors. For this, two errors, two errors, one error, two, one. 1, here, no errors, right? Therefore, what are the values of y? Yes, y values, we can say, y values 0, 1, 2, 3. These are the y values. Then, we need to find the probabilities for this. Probabilities of y equal y. For the first one, we have probabilities y equal 0. So, probabilities y equal 0 means probability of no errors, right? y equal 0, y is the number of errors. So, y equal 0 means no errors. Okay, how many we have? Here, no errors, we have just one, this one. So, can we use, you know, how many we total uh, uh, possibilities? 8. So, can we say 1 over 8? No. Yes. Actually, if you can remember, we discussed HHH, HHT, uh, like this. It means 1 coins 3 times or 3 coins 1 time. We consider output actually similar to the, this, right? Similar to that. But over there, we use... If we ask uh, all three head, then we, we know it is one eight. So, what is the difference from this uh, toss coin experiment and this experiment? Here, we most of time we consider actually, when we consider this way, we consider a balance coin. In me, a probability of head equal 0 0.5, probability of tail equal 0.5. Then actually we can consider this method. I mean, how many, uh, how many uh, the same event like uh, you see uh, n n n probability of uh, no errors y equals zero. Then we can say one over eight because we have only one out of eight. If we had 
the same same probability it means 50 percent but here not the 50 percent so what is the probability of e probability of e equal error right point o5 and probability of n equal therefore 1 minus probability of e therefore this is probability uh, 0.95 Yes, these probabilities are not the same, not 0.5, like a uh, like uh, coins ex uh, coins experiment, right? So in a coin experiment, so therefore we cannot use that method here. Okay, right? Probability of e equal 0.5. Right? Then let me explain how to use this probability of y equal zero mean no error. Then this should be this only. Therefore, we can write probability first one n, second one and second one also and no error and third one also no error. But we know these are independent. Therefore, we can say probability of a no error and no error and probability of no error. So, probability of no error is 0.95. So, that is the third power. Therefore, this is 0.85. 74. So, 0.8574. That is the probability of y equals 0. Then, probability of y equal 1. So, what are the probability of y equal 1? Let me use another color probability of y equal 1. So, probability of y equal 1 means 1 error, right? So, this has 1 error and this has 1 error. And this has one error. Actually, three simple events, right? See, simple events. Therefore, we can write first one probability e and n and n plus. When you go to the second event, so you need to write here plus summation probability n and n and e. Then the last one probability n and e and n so you see these are independent therefore probability of e time probability of n time probability of n so you can write the same way the other other two also then you see all of them are similar therefore we can say three times this so then three times probability of e is 0.05 and probability of n is 0.95 it is second power so this is 0.1354 therefore 0.1354 so we have that then probability y equal 2 so probability y equal to how many years we have again 3 but this this and this but probabilities how do we write probability e and e and n plus probability e and n and e plus probability n and e and e so you know these are independent so we can write probability of e time probability of e time probability of n and other two also the same therefore we can multiply by 3 so then how do we find the probabilities 3 times 0.05 to power 2 times 0.95 right so this is 0 0.007125 so we can write 0.007125 so last one in uh, y equal 3 so you know probability of y equal 3 we have only one that is the left actually you can find this one this way also you can say 1 minus probability 0 0.8574 plus 0 0.1354 plus 0 0.007125 you can find that way too but let me find the the same way what we did for the uh, like others so i i can say probability of e and e and 
e so this is in, this independent so probability of e time probability of e time probability of e so that is point o five to power three which is point o o o one two five therefore point o o o one two five zero 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 one two five this other probability is for y equals zero one two three actually that is the probability distribution for y this table next find the probability that the auditor will detect more than one error okay detect more than one error so then probability y more than one error is greater than one so this is discrete therefore we can write greater than equal to so what are the values y equal to plus probability of y equal three so probability of y equal to from the table you can find the probability of y equal to what is the probability of y equal to this one here you see that is point o o seven one two five plus three point zero 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 one two five so once you add them you can have zero zero seven two five five so that is the probability of uh, that uh, auditor will detect more than one error.